This offseason, Joe Harris was moved from the Brooklyn Nets to the Detroit Pistons. As a potential buyout target, I believe he's a guy to keep an eye on. Harris was moved to the youthful Pistons, who already have veteran wing shooter Bojan Bogdanovic on their roster. It wouldn't make sense for Harris' super team to replace Bogdanovic, who is coming off of the fantastic season. Given the abundance of youthful talent on the team, I'm curious as to where Harris will find playing time and what will happen if he doesn't. He has a contract that expires in the following season, so the Los Angeles Lakers should keep an eye on him in case they decide to buy him out. Harris' primary skill set that he will contribute to your team is that of a knockout sharpshooter. He is a fantastic three-point shooter who can consistently hit 40% from three points range on any given night. Why, therefore, does it appear that the Brooklyn Nets traded him? He seems like a fairly valuable player, after all. The Brooklyn Nets sought to establish a trade exception in Joe Harris, who was earning well over $15 million a year for each season of his contract, had an injury that ultimately had a significant negative impact on his performance. As a result, he was traded in a salary dump during the offseason. Joe Harris could potentially rebuild his value in the league by taking a buyout and demonstrating his ability to play well on a contending team. At the very least, it could provide him with the chance to compete for an NBA championship. The Pistons, who had cap space available, took on his contract in exchange for some additional draft capital. Additionally, buyouts typically take place around the time of the trade deadline in the middle of the season. Thus, keep an eye out for Joe Harris' name when that moment in the next season arises. Harris might be a Los Angeles Lakers knockdown shooter. The Lakers also made it a point to bolster their squad with a few additional shooters. However, when you consider the Lakers' areas of weakness, I believe that the team might benefit greatly from having more players that can shoot three points. It seems impossible to have too many knockdown three-point shooters in the modern NBA. Harris isn't a really good defender, so you might use him in some circumstances. I don't see how this kind of signing could actually have a very bad effect on the Los Angeles Lakers, though he's a guy the Lakers could want to add as a 15th man in the buyout market. Ugh. Harris seems like a fascinating player to discuss as a possible buy a candidate, in my opinion.